Which is what Jim Cole is, is what Cole is what, saying. Yeah, but that's my problem. What do you mean you finally free? That dismisses all accountability from the part that he has played that's true. in the big three debacle. I agree with mm-hmm. you. What do you mean you finally free as if you never wanted parts of the big three conversation? Or, or, that is a load hold of crap. Hold hold on, and I'm on, not going to let you niggas up, just hold piss on me and tell me it's raining. Hold so let's talk about J. Cole. Everybody has been buzzing, giving their commentary, their thoughts about J. Cole's new song, Poor Antonio. But what people are caring about is his response to the battle and his thoughts about the whole thing. So yeah, I heard that new J. Cole, and here's my take on it. Kendrick should diss his ass again. But this time, let's make it direct. Get Cole out of here, bro. You are not about to take this holier-than-thou role because you chose to back out of a beef, bro. A beef that you started, by the way. You threw the first stone, brother. Came out there with the this track and that mixtape. You did all of that. Then you want to go on the track and kiss Drake's ass. Yeah, you you did a lot for me. You you really did a lot for me. Man, I can't respect it, J. Cole. Stand on it, man. You built your career. You built your lane yourself, bro. I've been there since the beginning. I, Drake ain't a part of your journey, dog. Small percentage. Y'all really bending over backwards trying not to hurt Drake feelings now? Soft. From here on out, I'm Team Hove, I'm Team Kendrick. That's it. Everybody stopped talking about J. Cole being involved. Now he's jumped back in, even though he didn't want to participate. I, I just yeah, like, sure. like, I agree with y'all. I don't want to hear none of that. And I think we said that before. All that, all that fly talk, I just don't want to hear it no more. And y'all said that, like, in the beginning of all of this, that, you know, the bravado isn't believable anymore. And once. It's like the fairy tale's over. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing. Cole, I've been waiting for you to tell these bums that you wasn't ducking smoke. Sometimes shit ain't always about beef, and that's the problem within our community. I just made a video about this the other day. Why we always got a beef amongst each other? Why it can't just be competition? Why it can't just be, oh, you got the best of me. I'm gonna get you next time. Niggas always want to take it to the top. And I'm glad Cole finally broke it down for us so y'all can understand it ain't always got to be like that. Just because you can't say and do something don't mean you should. Just because you angry don't mean you should act on it. Just because you've been disrespected don't mean you got to disrespect. I got to learn a little more discipline. That's all I'm getting from this song. Does everyone respect his decision? I do. No, I do. Because everyone, I mean, everyone and I respect it more as time goes on. Y'all really mad at J. Cole for putting out poor Antonio? Y'all mad at J. Cole for doing what J. Cole always does? We're talking about the same man that made Let Nas down. Y'all mad at the same J. Cole that smacked up Puff in the club? Talked about how he bought his albums and everything. That made a song about the situation and had Puff on it? Look, just say you're not a J. Cole fan or you never rock with him. This poor Antonio song is one million percent on brand with who Cole is. He's always been somebody who speaks from the heart. If he feels like he's made a bad move or a whack move, he talks about it. He's always put this type of stuff in his music. He's made multiple songs talking about how now that he's older and he cheated on his girl, how whack that was. He lets you know, hey, I moved this way and I don't like the way I was moving. And he puts it in the song. He's always done it. Now, if you were somebody that thought all those moves were corny and now you hear this song and think it's corny, you're on brand. You're not who I'm really talking to right now. I'm talking to the people that was rocking with how Cole moved before and now that he's doing it now, it's an issue. This man is almost 40 years old. This is the way that he should be moving at this age. Now, I know you're gonna jump in here and say like, oh, but he talked about being the best and he a killer rapper. Hey, I understand that too. But I'm also not going to look past that clearly he knows people in Kendrick's camp, whether it's soul, Q or even daylight and we don't know what information was given to him going into this battle so when he shot first they were probably like hey bro 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 pull back <laughs> trust me this is not even about you dog you caught a stray because you're next to the man but this is it's going to get in a place that is not even about what you do and you might want to get away from this man so before you try to jump on here and be like well you just a big cold fan i am a big cold fan but i'm also a big kendrick fan kendrick's literally my favorite rapper west coast all day baby i'm just pointing out the hypocrisy and some of y'all's argument he's always been this person he's never not that's all
Yeah, so now you're putting out these verses and you're saying these things in the verses that n niggas don't want to hear no more. Yeah, we're going to start looking at you funny again. So what do you guys make of this situation? What do you make about J. Cole jumping in, giving his perspective at this point? Put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.